adventures in Karelian Pies, or Karelian Piraka. My Finnish is non-existent, but anyway, it is a, it's a nice word to say if one knows how to say it properly. This is actually not a recipe video. It is a cooking video, sort of, but it's more a memory video. I grew up in Finland. I have really warm memories, as we all do, of, well I hope, of our favorite place in childhood and time in childhood. And the years that I spent in Finland were just so much fun. And I remember, of course, the food and some of the comfort food there. Well, I guess the number one comfort food are these these pies, these Karelian pies. And Karelia is a part or a, a part of, of Finland. Anyway, there are also some these pies are sometimes called pierogies. I think they look like a little boat. Or maybe they look like a Turkish pide. Sort of a little uh, oval shaped. It, to me they look like a little rubber dinghy once you've made them. But they don't have to be that shape. Modern times, they don't have to be that shape. Everyone thinks they have to be a particular way because everyone has... If you have a strong memory about something, then you want it to be exactly the way it was in your memory and in your childhood. But it doesn't have to be. You could make them, I guess, like a wonton or a, a Cornish pasty. You could make them however you want. But these Karelian pies, they... Everyone, like all traditional foods, everyone has their own recipe. So I'm not going to... I'm going to link to some other recipes that are online. But if you're, if you're lucky, you know some Finnish person who has a good recipe and maybe they make them from you. Or they make them for you. Not from you. They make them for you! <laughs> so uh, another thing I would say, though, is... If you did not grow up with eating these as part of your childhood memories, then meh, they might not be for you. Anyway, so I was recently with some of my family and we decided to uh, make them. And again, not professional bakers, but we just thought, okay, let's do it. Actually, I thought, great, you guys do it. I'm gonna get some content for my YouTube video. So I was holding my iPhone 13 mini in the, was it, horizontal alignment, the sideways alignment, not portrait, landscape, that's what it's called, landscape and not portrait, and I was trying not to actually have to do anything other than film, which I managed to do except for one little bit where my brother asked me for some flour. So he had a recipe from a Finnish friend, but then we also looked up a recipe, and there are just so many different kinds of recipes, and it depends if true bakers actually, well, I did once work for a professional baker, so I'll tell you, a true baker would weigh things, but in the U.S., things tend to be done by volume. So a cup of this, a cup of that, rather than... 200 grams of this or 150 grams of that or I think the recipe that my brother got is really exact maybe 32 grams of this 130 grams of that but again this is individual everyone has their own favorite recipe the the key to me anyway is the uh, eating of it not so much the making of it and I would actually recommend using a tortilla press instead of rolling them out. The traditional recipe is uh, using rye flour and some wheat flour and then rolling out the dough, which is basically just, I think it's pretty simple. I think it's, I don't even know if there's a rising agent in it. It might just be uh, rye flour and some water and not much else. But anyway, so you roll it out really flat. You cook some rice pudding. You put the, let the rice pudding cool. You put the rice pudding in it, in these little rounds that are about the size of maybe an outstretched hand, I would say, depending on the size of your hand, about the size of um, a, a salad bowl, maybe. And then you put the rice pudding, the cooked rice pudding inside, you fold it up, 
If you're exacting, you pat it down with a wet spoon so that the rice is flat. And then the important part is the crimping. You gotta have the crimping style right. And you start in the middle and then you crimp to the edges and it ends up looking like a little cocoa bean almost. Yeah, it actually looks like a coffee bean, I guess. Just very big. Anyway, and you do this a lot and then uh, meanwhile you've also boiled some eggs and chopped them very finely and mixed them with butter and that's what's called egg butter which is basically hard-boiled eggs and lots of butter which will go on top of the Karelian pie. You make make lots of these. I've actually hunted these down wherever I can. I've gone to Finnish bazaars, bought a lot of them for a lot of money and really it's cheap ingredients except for the rye flour. I guess rye flour is kind of hard to find but other than that it's it's flour and water and eggs and rice and butter. And then you bake them in the oven once you've formed them and after they have baked and the tops are nice and crunchy and hard, the little crimps that you've made are nice and hard, then you brush them with melted butter after they come out of the oven so that they get a nice glaze and then they're ready to eat. Uh, you like to eat them slightly warm, not boiling hot or not really hot out of the oven, but you know, warm. And then with uh, warm-ish, but not melted and not ice cold egg butter because you want the butter to be soft enough that it has a good smooth creamy texture with the chopped eggs and so it's not icy like a block of ice butter because you don't it's not pleasant eating chops blocks of icy butter unless it's your thing in which case as friends say you do you so the ideal way is to eat it kind of room temperature well i like lots of things room temperature it's room temperature and the with the egg butter on top and the experience you should get is this the delightful rye earthy kind of woodsy aroma fresh there's so many lakes and woods in finland just feel very healthy and then this nice crunchy rye flour crust which is it's almost a, is it a kafluti but that was, that's a whole big french thing but anyway but it's an open dumpling basically and you get the crunchy rye flour and then the buttery egg butter and the creamy rice pudding on the inside and it should take you back to your childhood in finland enjoy or maybe back to my childhood in finland which is even better ciao